hello dear students in this video we are going to learn one of the point in unit number 4 that is rectification and related examples first we try to learn what is rectification so rectification is the technique of finding the length of curve of the curve by analytical method here use one word or means part of continuous curve we try to focus on what is the arc here one example equation of circle x square plus y square is equal to a square center 0 0 and radius a so point is a comma 0 and 0 comma a so what is the arc for example here length of the circle in first quadrant which is the arc of a circle it means that some part of the curve it is called as the arc here there are two parts one length of arc in cartesian equation and another length of arc in polar equation so today we are going to focus on cartesian equation again there are two formulas to finding the length in cartesian form the length of arc in the curve y is equal to f of x between the points p and q so s is equal to integration limit of x x1 to x2 under root 1 plus dy by dx square dx so with respect to x limit of x x1 to x2 and another type of curve x is equal to g of y between the points p and q same s is equal to integration y is equal to y1 to y is equal to y2 root of 1 plus dx upon dy square with respect to y so here with respect to x limit of x x1 to x2 with respect to y limit of y y1 to y2 so we try to find the circumference of circle of radius a the length of arc of curve is given by s is equal to root of 1 plus dy by dx square with respect to x so limit x1 to x2 we write equation number 1 the equation of circle with radius a is x square plus y square is equal to a square we write equation number 2 we draw here a diagram this is circle with radius a and center 0 comma 0 so we required the value of under root 1 plus dy by dx square so differentiating equation 2 with respect to x we have so derivative of x square is 2x derivative of y square is 2y y derivative dy by dx is equal to derivative of a square is 0 then we find the value of dy by dx is equal to minus x upon y square on both side dy by dx square is equal to x square upon y square again differentiating with respect to x it means that value in terms of only x so we replace the value of y square a square minus x square so modified equation of dy by dx square is x square divided by a square minus x square then add one on both side 1 plus dy by dx square is equal to 1 plus x square divided by a square minus x square is equal to the cross multiplied by a square minus x square a square minus x square plus x square divided by a square minus x square so plus minus x square cancel remaining with a square divided by a square minus x square so getting the final value of 1 plus divided by x square is equal to a square upon a square minus x square so taking root on both side we getting root value is a divided by under root a square minus x square so putting this in equation 
required earth length between first quadrant value x1 0 to x2 is equal to a so limit 0 to a root value is a divided by under root of a square minus x square with respect to x so a is a constant and integration of 1 upon under root a square minus x square is sin inverse x upon a with limit 0 to a so we replace upper limit a we replace lower limit 0 sin inverse a upon a means sin inverse 1 and sin inverse 0 is 0 so sin inverse 1 is pi by 2 so final value for limit 0 to a is pi a divided by 2 but we interested to find the circumference it means that whatever is the part we are getting in the first quadrant multiplied by 4 the final answer is 4 into s so is equal to 4 into pi a divided by 2 is equal to 2 pi a and we all of you know that the circumference of circle is 2 pi a but in this method we try to find the circumference by using formula of rectification hope you understand the example we try to understand next example find the length of arc of parabola y square is equal to 4 a x measured from the vertex to one end of the lattice rectum vertex means origin same formula the length of arc of curve is given by s is equal to limit of y y1 to y2 root of 1 plus dx upon dy whole bracket square with respect to y so with respect to y we write the limit y1 to y2 here is simplified equation possible in terms of x is equal to f of y so here given equation y square is equal to 4x we write equation number 2 this is the diagram of parabola y square is equal to 4x this is the lattice rectum at a comma 0 if you replace the x is equal to a we are getting y is equal to 2a so write this lattice rectum and in this example we find the length from 0 to a or 0 to 2a if you get the limit for with respect to x the limit is 0 to a 0 to a and here with respect to y the limit is 0 to 2a so differentiating again with respect to y we have 2y 4a dx upon dy we find the value of dx upon dy is equal to y upon 2a again square on both sides dx upon dy square is equal to y square upon 4a square add 1 on both sides 1 plus y square upon 4a square and cross multiplied by 4a square so y square plus 4a square upon 4a square it is the final value of 1 plus dx upon dy square taking root on both sides same as the last example we get in the value root of y square plus 4a square divided by 2a so putting this value in equation 1 for the limit of y 0 to 2 so we know the formula 1 upon 2a is a constant limit 0 to 2a under root value y square plus 2a square with respect to y to finding the integration of this term under root y square plus 2a square by using the basic formula integration root of x square plus a square dx is equal to x divided by 2 under root x square plus a square plus a square divided by 2 log x plus under root x square plus a square so comparing same formula here x means y and a is nothing but 2a hence s is equal to 1 upon 2a y upon 2 under root y square plus 2a square plus 2a square is 4a square divided by 2 log y plus under root y square plus 2a square limit is 0 to 2a so y replaced by 2a for the upper limit and y replaced by 0 for the lower limit 
and we simplify this then we getting the answer a root 2 plus log 1 plus root 2 here we use the basic concept of logarithmic log of subtraction we write the log of ratio then one of example find the length of arc of the parabola x square is equal to 4y which lies inside the circle x square plus y square is equal to 6y the length of arc of curve is given by we again write the formula s is equal to with respect to x so limit of x x1 to x2 under root 1 plus divided by x square we write equation number 1 we find the length of arc of parabola so we write the equation number 2 of parabola x square is equal to 4y and here we given the equation of circle x square plus y square minus 6y is equal to 0 with center 0 comma 3 and radius 3 how to calculate center and radius here we write the formula we know that the equation of circle x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 and center is minus g comma minus f and radius is under root g square plus f square minus c so we comparing these two equation here 2gx here no coefficient of x so g is the 0 and 2fy here minus 6y so coefficient of y is minus 6 and here coefficient of y is 2f so 2f is equal to minus 6 so f is equal to minus 3 so we replace f is minus 3 it means that center is 0 comma 3 and radius is under root g square plus f square minus c g is 0 no constant term so c is 0 and f is nothing but minus 3 so its square is 9 under root 9 is value 3 it means that this is the equation of circle with center 0 comma 3 and radius 3 here we draw the circle of center 0 comma 3 with radius 3 and we draw the parabola but before draw the parabola we must know the point of intersection so how to calculate the point of intersection the point of intersection of parabola x square is equal to 4y and circle so x square plus y square is equal to 6y and the x square replaced by 4y so 4y plus y square is equal to 6y so y square minus 2y is equal to 0 so we common y y into bracket y minus 2 is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 and y minus 2 is equal to 0 means y is equal to 2 so y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2 so we are getting two values of y we replace in the equation of x square so y replaced by 0 so x is 0 and y replaced by 2 so x square is equal to 8 means x is equal to plus minus 2 root 2 so similarly we are getting the point of intersection x0 y0 x2 root 2 y2 x minus 2 root 2 again y2 so point of intersections are 0 comma 0 2 root 2 comma 2 and 2 root 2 comma 2 correct so difference setting equation 2 with respect to x we have divided by dx is equal to 2x upon 4 is equal to x divided by 2 so divided by dx square is equal to x square divided by 4 square on both side add 1 on both side 1 plus divided by dx square is equal to 1 plus x square divided by 4 so cross multiplied by 4 x square plus 4 upon 4 final value of 1 plus divided by dx square so taking root on both side root of x square plus 4 as it is and root of 4 is 2 so we are getting value under root of x square plus 4 means 2 square divided by 2 so putting this in equation 1 the length arc between x is equal to 0 to 2 root 2 again same formula s is equal to 
limit 0 to 2 root 2 under root x square plus 2 square divided by 2 so 2 is constant outside the integration again same formula we use in last example x square plus a square so a means 2 so 1 upon 2 x by 2 under root of x square plus 4 plus 4 divided by 2 that is a square log of x plus under root of x square plus 2 square that is 4 limit 0 to 2 root 2 so x replaced by 2 root 2 for upper limit and x replaced by 0 for lower limit and again here use the property of logarithmic log of subtraction log of ratio and the final answer is root 6 plus log root 2 plus root 3 this is the value of length of arc in first quadrant but we are interested to all the inside the circle that's why we multiplied by 2 so required length of parabola inside the circle is 2 times s is 2 into root 6 plus log root 2 plus root 3 hope you understanding the rectification in Cartesian form in next video we try to learn rectification in polar form.